Okay guys, now that I've cleansed my soul, I have found my happy place yet again. Um, Coastal Sense is still on my you know what list, but I'm ready to move on and discuss happier things such as hair products. Yes, I know. Do you guys get excited about hair products like I do? So lame, you know you have no life when you get excited about hair products. The first one I want to talk to you about is the Talia Wajid Style and Shine. It's kind of like a styling cream. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Hopefully you can see that. And yes, I have already used this. I did a dry twist out maybe two weeks ago. Um, and this is what the product looks like. It's really thick. Um, hopefully you can see that on the back of my hand. It's got a really thick consistency. Um, if you have a child and you twist or braid your child's hair, this is the perfect thing to use when twisting or braiding because my hair looked really, really pretty and shiny in my twists. But when I set them free, not so much. So the moisture from this product, it doesn't stay. Um, that's just with my preliminary findings. Like I said, I've only used it once. I'm not ready to give it the thumbs down just yet. Um, Cause you know, you gotta use it a couple of times. Maybe my hair was just super dry that week. I don't know. But anyway, so yes, that's the Talia Wajid Style and Shine. And this is a six ounce jar and it costs five and a half dollars. And I got this at my local beauty supply store. Now, um, if you watched my videos, then you know that I've been using mane and tail leave-in conditioner to reactivate my curls. Whether it's a roller set, or whether it's a twist out, or whether it's a wash and go, every few days your hair is gonna get like kind of like dry feeling. And you can use water, but if you don't use water, I usually just use a light leave-in conditioner. And I ran out of my mane and tail conditioner, and I was at Rite Aid the other day, so I went ahead and purchased some of this Aussie hair insurance leave-in conditioner and it smells really good. It doesn't leave your hair sticky. I can't really say that it, you know, protects my hair or it, like improve the condition of my hair because I've only been using it for like a week and a half. But so far so good. I just spray a little bit to just dampen my curls before I retwist them or before I reset them. So yes, Aussie. Next, I'm super excited about this one, guys. So, some of you are fortunate enough to have a Whole Food store where you live, and where I live, there are none. So, the last time that I went to Montgomery to visit my mom, I um, went to Earth Fair, and I purchased this Queen Helene Royal Curl Curl Shaping Cream. And as you can see, it's all natural. This is a humongous jar. This is 15 ounces of product. Like, it's huge. Just to show you in comparison to Talia Waji. Can you see how much bigger that is? It's a lot bigger. Um, and I'll show you what this looks like. It's kind of slippery. So I can't really show you. See how it shakes? It's about to spill out. So yeah, it's a jelly substance. And it smells amazing. Like somebody's son is gonna fall in love with you if you got this in your hair. It smells so good, like for real. My mama was like, what is that smell? What kind of perfume is that or whatever. It really smells very perfumey. If you don't like strong smelling hair products or sweet smelling hair products, then you will hate this. But I personally love Giovanni to be smelling good because people be wanting to touch on him and sniff on him and stuff. And I'll be like, get back, get back. But anyway, yes, I love this stuff. I did a twist out with this before I went to church last week and it was amazing. Amazing. I love this stuff. And I'm only using it one time, but I love it. I loved it on, you know, the first try. It cost me $7.39 at my Earth Fair store in um, Montgomery. And like I said, it's Royal Curl Curl Shaping Cream. And it's kind of like a jelly type cream. Wonderful. 
The next thing that I want to show you is not really something new. It's something that I had to restock on because I had run out. And it is organic extra virgin coconut oil. And the reason that I'm showing you this is because a lot of people that have recently subscribed to my channel are newly natural. And I use a lot of olive oil because I prefer olive oil sometimes to coconut oil. But if you use a couple of maybe a tablespoon or two of coconut oil in with your conditioner, mix it up with your deep conditioner, your hair will just be so excited and just love you. It really will. It'll love you. Speaking of loving hair, I know you guys want to know what's up with my wig right now. It looks a little messy at the moment, but what started was um, finger coils. I did finger coils on Saturday. I wore that hairstyle Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then last night, I did a dry twist out. And I didn't use any products, and I know y'all think I'm crazy, but that's because I was so heavy-handed with my hair product on Saturday that I just didn't need to add any additional. I probably will tonight because I don't want to be all frizz-tastic. You see, it's, look like, it's a little bit frizzy right here. So I probably need product tonight, but the first few nights, I didn't need any additional moisture. My hair was just like extra juicy and shiny and whatnot. So I know you're asking yourself, so what did you use initially for the finger coils? Um, all I used was a little bit of this coconut oil right here. I just put a little bit in my hands and rubbed my hands together and smoothed it through the hair. And um, kinky curly knot today. And I have a picture of my finger coils because I know you want to see what those look like. So. Yeah, those are the finger coils. And like I said, I wore them for three days. And then on the third day, I twisted it. So that's what my hair is doing now. So I don't have anything else to show or tell you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Stay tuned for reviews of the products that I've shown you. And um, the next product that I'm going to review this week is the Wet n Wild Pride Palette. And I'm actually wearing it right now. Hmm. So if you have this palette or if you're thinking about getting it, stay tuned because I'm going to review it soon. Um, just a little sneak peek. I love this palette. I'm going to give it good reviews. See you guys later.